So cholesterol is actually a carrier molecule. It's a bit like a truck. It carries things around. And we know that there's two forms of cholesterol, LDL, low density lipoprotein cholesterol, and HDL, high density lipoprotein cholesterol. But they have opposite functions. So here we have the liver, and here we have the blood. Now, if this truck is HDL cholesterol, high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, what it does is it's going to take cholesterol from the blood. It's going to carry that cholesterol to the liver, and it's going to drop it off in the liver for biochemical processing. So HDL is taking cholesterol from the blood to the liver, fatty material from the blood to the liver. Can you see this means there's now less fatty material left in the blood to be atherogenic and cause atherosclerosis? So HDL, high density lipoprotein, is helpful. It's protective, it's cardioprotective. Conversely, low density lipoprotein cholesterol, so this is a different molecule now, this is now low density lipoprotein cholesterol. This takes cholesterol from the liver and dumps it off in the blood. So the more trucks you've got carrying cholesterol from the liver to the blood, that is the more LDL cholesterol you have. Can you see the blood's now getting full up of cholesterol and fatty material that can migrate into the walls of the artery? and cause atherosclerosis. So HDL protective, LDL atherogenic, the two forms of cholesterol. So it's good to have high levels of HDL and low levels of LDL. If people are dyslipidemic, they'll have high levels of LDL, but low levels of HDL, and that's atherogenic. So why is it that we have LDL cholesterol then if it's just there to cause ischemic heart disease and atherosclerosis? Well, the answer is that in survival situations, we need to mobilise fat from the liver. Because if you haven't eaten for a couple of days, you haven't got any glycogen and sugar left, very little sugar left, you're going to have to run on fat. And then we're going to have to take fatty material from the liver, take it to the blood where it can be used for energy. And that's very protective. It's going to increase the probability of our survival in periods of fasting when, the, when there's no food available. The problem is in our society, food is always available, so we don't fast anything like as much as we should. So the way we look at it, HDL is good, LDL is bad. If you're in a survival situation, of course, you need the LDL, it becomes good to aid our chances of survival. But because we've got lots of food and plenty to eat all the time, what we need to try and do in our patients is get HDL levels up and LDL levels down.